All right, we got another edition of a Beginner Breakdown tonight. I am your host, Matt Kummer. This is a very special edition tonight. We got games that end in eight moves. So if you think you're really good at chess, you can say, hey, I can beat you in eight moves. And then here's the proof, all right? So here's uh, the first game. It was played on the internet. Ham, ham, hammy against uh, Grayson. Hammy's got white. So let's see how he or she does. All right, E3, E5. You should always be starting out with E4. All right, that's her first mistake. And then queen to H5 attacks the pivotal F7 square. So the knight comes out and attacks the queen. As we know, this is not good because the queen can take the undefended pawn. Queen takes check, bishop to e7. So now the knight comes out to f3. Got to get another piece involved. So if you were playing black in this position, what would you do here? And know that you don't want to lose in eight moves, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what we got? What do you think a good player would play in this position for black? Like D6, knight, knight D6. So yeah, you got a lot of options. Knight C6, attack the queen. D6, attack the queen. Or you could simply castle and be like, I'm not getting checkmate in eight moves. There's nothing you can do about it. But you, you, it's more fun to attack, right? All right. All right. So, so you guys didn't pick any of the ways <laughs> that you can actually attack this queen. We, we shot out d6, knight c6, but the little known, knight to g4. All right, so now the queen is under attack. All right, so this is great. There's an undefended pawn, let's take it. Now, if you were to bet which side is going to lose <laughs> in eight moves, I bet you would pick the wrong answer. All right, so. We got to do something about this rook. So let's see if we can figure out a way to defend the rook by not moving it. Oh man, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's, you're like, what? It's like an x-ray, okay? Bishop sees through the queen and protects the rook. He sees this. So he's like, oh, I can't take the rook because the bishop would take me, right? Well, but he sees that, so he's really good. He's like, but I got a knight here. I can just take it for free, and I'm doing great. All right, so, so now he's like, I got a trick up my sleeve. I'll just, I'll just play d6, you know, no, nothing to worry about. What should you be worried about? Do you know Mario? If you were white, what would you be worried about right now? Who's under attack? The queen discovered he. Yeah, good. So he's like, check. And now bishop to e7. And now all of white's hard work is just crushed. Because he's like, I see this pawn. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, not so good. Because the bishop protects the square. So he's like, oh, I lost. <laughs> so. Don't take pieces that are defended, okay? Pretty simple. All right, so, so Grayson played a great game, one in eight moves, <laughs> just like he planned it. All right, so now Grayson has the uh, black pieces here in another eight move encounter. All right, so we'll see, see it from Grayson's point of view. So B4, E5, sometimes called the orangutan where they bring out the bishop here. Instead, he just def defends the pawn. All right, fair enough. And now Grayson's going for the big center. Excellent. So he just keeps pushing these pawns, and now Grayson can't resist it. He's like, he could, he could just play another great, like, developing move, you know, but instead he's like, all right, I'll challenge this. So he brings out his knight to defend it. And we all know the uh, big trick, uh, remove the defender. We could just play d5. Now this knight has to go away, and we could win a pawn. Okay, But, you know, that's not the spirit of this. So bishop to c5, attacking f2. Very interesting. We'll notice that these f2 and f7 squares 
very weak, okay? So it's like, okay, free pawn. <laughs> Once again, it's not free, right? You can take. But it's like, you know what's better than taking free knights? Threatening checkmate. Now, which is better in reality? Threatening a checkmate that can be easily solved with g3 or taking a piece for free? Take the piece. Because you're playing hope chess. You're hoping that, you know, he's not going to see queen takes f2 checkmate. Or even bishop takes f2 checkmate. But after g3, <laughs> oh, all right. Well, we don't have to play g3. We can play uh, e3, all right? So maybe he was hoping that he would play g3, because after g3 to stop this mate, you get a super fort going on. <laughs> or you could just be like, check, king takes, queen check, and take the rook. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. Or you could just take the knight and be up a knight. <laughs> That's recommended. OK, so queen to h4 was played. So he's like, I got this, e3. No problem. So he's now he's like attacking the knight. All right, so the knight has a really good move in this position. Can anybody see it? Good moves are usually checks and captures. Sometimes threats. So what we got, does white have a really good check? Knight to, seven. Knight to c7 check. King has to move, and you took the rook. Game over. Black's never coming back from this deficit. <laughs> in, this, in, this, in this position, you wouldn't resign. You would uh, probably take the pawn, and then um, you, know, you can try to get this. Uh, this knight here, somehow, some way. It's pretty easy. Probably go here, you know, there. You know, maybe he's got a good defense here. Yep. Hopefully, you'll get the knight. <laughs> but if you don't, then you can resign. But at least try to play on. There is no reason for him to resign in that position. So we all saw what Black did. He didn't take free material. And he went for his own checkmate that was easily stopped. So just take material when you can. All right, next one, uh, Grayson, once again, has the uh, black pieces. So we'll see how it, he does here. e4, e6, d4. Now, if you've been watching, who can predict black's move here? Who do you think black's going to move? It's going to be a piece off the back row. Can I have any guesses? Any guesses? Queen H4. Queen H4, excellent. Now you're playing like Grayson, all right. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but you're playing like him. All right, so, so knight of three works every time, right? But he doesn't even want the free pawn. He sees, he loves check, okay? He loves check. So this check is a big mistake because even though he's attacking the king, now he's got one pre piece on pre, meaning hanging, and now another piece hanging. Have you ever heard that expression, don't leave me hanging, bro? It derived from chess, okay? <laughs> so, so that's what it means, don't leave them hanging, all right? So now what can he do? All he can do now is take check. Can you play four check first? The <laughs> oh, we got a little intermezzo going on here. So queen takes e4 check, and then now we move this to safety. So excellent, but didn't see it. <laughs> so bishop takes e3 check, pawn takes. And now he's like, oh yeah, queen takes check. All right, little Steven. It got a little darker in here. It's getting scary. It's very ominous. <laughs> All right. But we'll, uh, we'll proceed. Bishop e2. And so now he goes and attacks the pawn. So if you were playing white, what move would you play? I'll give you a hint. Castle or attack the queen? 
See, a castle, it's kind of scary. Uh, I'm not going to say it's not scary. <laughs> but it's better than the alternative. So knight to e5. So a double attack on the queen. The knight's attacking it and the bishop. So after queen takes g2, he decides, you know what, I attacked the queen the last move. I'm going to attack him again. Rook to g1. Not recommended, because look, it's not protected by anybody. And so that's it. Eight moves. <laughs> queen takes g1. Game over. All right? All right, Grayson's got the black pieces again. All right, and now white starts out. This is not a, this is not a replay of a game we already saw. Okay, although it'll look very similar, and it ends in eight moves, obviously. Okay, so e3, e5, okay. So, so now Grayson, Grayson's opponent, Kyle, Kyle is white, plays queen to f3. So now d5, knight c3, double attacking the pawn. So he just attacks. Pawn takes, pawn takes, check. So block the check. Everything's going great. Knight to d5. So, so I don't see really any threats for uh, white so far in this position. So he attacks the knight. Fair enough. Knight takes e7. Knight takes e7. So Kyle sees that this pawn is undefended, this precious g pawn. And remember, his eighth move is coming up. <laughs> so where do you think Kyle unfortunately places his queen to attack this pawn? Queen g4, right? Yep. Not very good. You can't put your pieces in the same line as your opponents, okay? So bishop takes g4, and the game is over. Okay. All right. Uh, the next game we have here, this is from a totally new opponent. Uh, Jan has the white pieces against H.S. Rubenstein. I think it's Harper Smith Rubenstein here, so let's see how Harper Evan Smith Rubenstein does here. All right, so white plays e4, black plays e5. So we're getting a more natural looking up position than before in these games. So knight f3 attacks the pawn, knight c6 protects. Now white decides to play a very uh, restrictive move here, uh, d3, putting his bishop in a box here. So not, not recommended. So black casually plays knight f6 out here. White continues his development. And black gets in d5. Um, probably would have been a better idea to get this bishop out. C, c5, attack f2, or even b4. But all right, d5, it's a little ambitious. And it could get him in trouble here. So bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Takes e4, takes e4, so queen takes check, king takes d1, all right, so bishop to g4, <laughs> all right, so if you were playing white, there's one really, really bad move that was unfortunately played. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they won't be able to find it. Um, maybe he was reaching for the H pawn and accidentally hit the, uh, this pawn. So, so the worst move for white in this position is played. Instead of just playing a simple move like uh, bishop e2 getting out of the pin, he reaches for g3. And before he, black can even move, he's, he just throws his king in the air and just gives up. <laughs> so, so obviously, check. And uh, you just lost two pieces for nothing. So
So never voluntarily remove the defenders of your pieces, okay? Not wise. All right, we got one more uh, eight mover here, and then I might get a game in and try to, try to show them what it's like here. All right, so Jan has the uh, white pieces in this encounter. All right, so e4, e5, knight f3, bishop to c5, attacking f2. All right, and now white plays a very... Uh, Another uh, bad move for this bishop, okay? We saw it in the previous move, d3, kind of hurt that bishop. But in this game, they decided to put their bishop on d3, okay? M essentially making this bishop into a big pawn, okay? Where he'd be so much more happy on c4 attacking, you know, f7, okay? So needs to work on that. All right, so queen to f6, threatening nothing, hoping, you know, it could happen, as we've seen. Well, now we, we're going to see a move that we haven't seen in any of these games so far. Can you guess what it is? What move? Yeah, castle. It's a, a very foreign move to these guys. But you can castle by move four. That's excellent. But just because you're in a castle doesn't mean that they're not going to be coming after you. So queen to g6, all right, so now the queen is in the same line as the enemy king. But hey, free pawn, knight takes e5. So they want to stay in the line here, so queen to g5. So they bring out their queen to f3, threatening, um, threatening to take on f7 with check. All right, so, so what move would you play to stop queen takes f7 check here. Well, I got a really good move. <laughs> I guess you guys do too, right? Queen takes the knight, right? That looks pretty good. It looks good to me. All right, so instead they're like, I'm going to attack that knight, all right? <laughs> so my knight's under attack, I better move it. That's what they're thinking, all right? All right, so, so they do, they move it, and now they got the fork. And so they are so excited they got the fork. So it's like whatever, wherever you move the queen, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take the rook, okay? So this happens a lot. You get so excited, like I get, I get a piece, I get a piece. I don't care. Just make your move, move it, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Move so I can take your rook, and I'm so happy. I got your rook. <laughs> I got your rook. <laughs> All right, so you got to pay attention to where your opponents move, even when they're moving out of a fork, okay? All right, because they just created a threat way bigger than your threat ever was. So what move does uh, black play? Queen takes h2. Queen takes h2. If you wanted to end the game in eight moves. But if you want to torture your opponent, you play <laughs> that. <laughs> but yeah, but he wanted to win an eight move, so he went for the direct mate. All right, so now I got to show everybody what it's like, okay? You've seen a lot of eight move games. So how many moves do you think it takes me to beat my opponent here? I'm Mike Comer. I'm the state champion. Come on. Seven, Seven moves, <laughs> yes. Four time US chess champion. Yeah, so he got it right. He knows what it's <laughs> he knows what it's about. <laughs> All right. So here I go. So I gotta beat him in seven moves. All right, so here we go. E4, E5. So bishop c4 aim directly at uh, f7 here. All right. Bishop c5. Now everybody probably thinks I bring that queen out here or here. I like to do it with my knight, all right? Knight f3. So knight f6. So they let me go into this, uh, this attack here. So knight to g5, but it's not very good, right? Because what move can, uh, can black play to just get out of this whole mess here? Castle. Castles, excellent. All right, so you know when you see a good move, you got to repeat it, right? So castle, castle. And now black makes uh, 
horrific blunder here. <laughs> all right? You see a lot of these unforced errors in these games, which they have no call for. Okay? So in this position for black, you, know, you could play a h6 here maybe, d6, knight c6. This is anything, right? But instead, it's like, well, this knight's doing too good over here. I'm going to play some here, <laughs> right in the same line as an enemy. So it's just making it too easy. All right, so obviously, he doesn't stop the checkmate correctly, all right? So, so what's a move that doesn't stop the checkmate but kind of looks like it does? Well, it attacks the queen, but it doesn't stop the checkmate, OK? So let's see. So I got the seven move one. Excellent, OK. But um, let's see some other ideas, all right? What if he plays h6 to stop it? Now. It's going to take us more than eight moves, seven moves to win, but, but let's get a forcing win here, OK? So we have three different ways we can take on f7, right? The queen, the knight, or the bishop. Which one should we do it with? Knight takes. Knight takes. Excellent. All right. At least that's my story. <laughs> Yasser might disagree, but. Knight takes is great. I mean, it's got to be. All right, knight takes. Knight takes. All right. So he doesn't want to lose his queen, right? I don't want to lose my queen, so I'm going to move it. Does it matter? Yeah, you have to play d7 or you lose your queen. Yeah. So, so you're thinking about winning the queen right now <laughs> when I'm thinking about winning the $9 billion piece, the king, OK? So, all right, so, so he doesn't want to lose this queen. Because let's say he plays e8. It's a very simple way to win the queen, which may or not, may not be the best move, with knight to d6 check. OK, that wins the enemy queen. So he plays e7 here. Now, can we actually checkmate this guy? Or um, can we just, like, Take all the stuff. Double check. Looks good to me. And when you're in double check, you can only move the king. All other options off the table, OK? So he can go here or here. Doesn't matter. Or, well, he wants to go in the corner because <laughs> he's really scared. <laughs> That's where you go when you're scared. All right, <laughs> and now even I can see the checkmate. So this is very exciting. Hopefully everybody else can at home now. All right, so this is a move I, oh, oh, interesting. So any knight move wins. Even knight to g8. Right in his face. <laughs> Knight f7 is the only one that doesn't mate. And of course, that's the one I was going to recommend. Because <laughs> now, now, now we have the queen come down and checkmate. OK? So it's a lot of fun. All right, so there's one other move uh, black can make in this scenario. And it's just uh, get. Oh, well, we're not going to go over that one. <laughs> so Yasser, Yasser suggests the best move, obviously. Queen takes knight. And that just it does lose a queen. But hey, uh, the king's worth so much more than the uh, queen. So you're still alive and fighting. Um, but yeah, the other move uh, that doesn't work, but you could try, is uh, rook to e8. All right, so now we got a lot of different checks we can play here. So, and obviously this one does lead to a checkmate, a very cool checkmate. <laughs> the smothered mate, excellent. The queen takes f7 check, king retreats to his corner, and um, he's, he's, he's got it. 
where a queen check, you're like, what? I can just take it. And, but look at that. You're all, you're smothered. You're, you're surrounded by your pieces. So all, when you're surrounded, all you have to do is deliver a check to him, and then he's done for. So he's done for, <laughs> yeah. So checkmate. So a lot of cool different checkmates you can do from that position. All right. So now uh, one kid decided, hey, I'm sick of Cummer beating everybody in like such short order. I'm going to put up a big fight, OK? So let's see how long he can last here. It is longer than eight moves. All right, e4, e5, bishop c4, bishop c5, knight f3. So if I was playing black, or I'm not playing black, if I was playing white in this position, what move would I really, really be hoping that black plays in this position? It's the worst move in all of chess. Uh, queen h4, that'd be too easy of a win. f6, he might as well, when you play f6, you might as well play queen to h4 here. So, it just it's like horrible, okay? So, you can just punish them. Check. If they block the check, check forking the uh, king and the rook here. King f8. So take it. All right, so now he decides to threaten the G pawn instead of the F pawn. I don't know how, how good that is. Um, so which piece of uh, blacks is inadequately uh, defended in this position? The knight. the knight, yeah. So just take all his stuff. Check, check, king there. All right, b3. So now he thinks he's going, going places. He's threatening uh, queen takes and queen takes check. But I got my own check. So bishop check, king here, h4, king here. And now I only see a mate in three here instead of uh, miss a mate in two. So what move should uh, white play in this position? And it's everything you ever dreamed about. It's a check and a capture. So take it. And now, can you be better than me? I missed the checkmate. That's how good I am. <laughs> so all I'm thinking about is like, like you guys, just think about winning that queen instead of, <laughs> instead of uh, checkmating the king, you know? So what move can uh, actually just checkmate him? Queen f5, checkmate. Instead, I'm like, I got to win that queen. And then I'm like, you know, maybe checkmate's better. <laughs> All right. So that's how you can win in uh, short order, OK? You have your, your opponent play your, their pieces where they uh, don't belong in the same line as your enemy queen or bishop, and you just take it, and uh, you're feeling good. All right, we got one last game here. And we decided to make it a long game. <laughs> All right. So, so we'll see how um, players rated about what? 1, about 1,100 play when they're not losing in eight moves, OK? So let's check it out here. Is our hero white or black? I am white. All right, our hero, Josh, is white. All right. All right, so e4, black plays the Sicilian. All right. So they, you know, attack, but yeah, just because, uh, you know, you're not going to win in eight moves doesn't mean, you know, you can't make some good attacks right off the bat, you know. D3, excellent. You see, he played D3 after he got the bishop out of the pawn chain. How good is he playing? All right, E6, good. Knight F3, Knight F6. Bishop e3, you know what, yeah, I mean, just castle, castle when you can, you know. You know you want to, so you might as well. All right, so e5, so not a good move, e5. Uh, weakened this pawn and created a hole here, okay? So not recommended, e5. So now he gets castled. Um, 
You could play h3 here, preventing uh, the bishop from getting to g4. But castle's fine. All right, so he gets his uh, knight in here. So after castle, knight to g5. Yeah, <laughs> like me. Well, everybody wants to be like Mike. Yep. Yeah, because D5 is a mess here. Yeah, if you play D5, or you could play Mike. Right. Yeah, I guess he had a chance to, to come on on this F7. Right. <laughs> but he, yeah, so, so E5 was bad for many reasons. Many reasons. <laughs> All right, knight to d4, hoping that it'll take like that, I guess, and fork the, your bishop and the knight. But instead he takes, and um, yeah, I got his knight in here. So knight takes, bishop takes, and now he gets bishop to g4 in. But no fear. So when he played the bishop out, he left uh, the pawn undefended. So after h3, he retreats and protects f7 here. So let's see if we had a tactic here. It doesn't look like it. All right. All right, h3, bishop. So now he got, now he got the, uh, the take. So, so black really should have taken this knight here. And so after queen takes f3, you're threatening checkmate, and you're also threatening bishop takes, but you can just uh, play queen here and uh, defend both. All right, but, um, you know, he played back, and now takes, takes, and now uh, white's got a great move. You know, see a check, play the check, and uh, king's got a move, and uh, life is good for uh, white here. So he's got to defend the pawn. So he does. Pawns are really good at protecting other pawns because then uh, you don't need your big heavy pieces to you know, just defend a pawn. All right, so queen attacks, bishop retreats, king goes back, g4. So now he's uh, moving pawns in front of the, his king, kind of risky. The, the knight up there. H6. Much better than F6, huh? If F6 is played, what move would uh, white gallantly play? 96 check the fork, right? All right, so, so he knows. <laughs> yeah, good job, uh, David. Not playing F6. <laughs> yeah, and now the knight can just go back, yeah. All right, so bishop E7. So he's trying to, trying to get a, that bishop going here. H5, G5. All right, queen, D7. It's getting intense here. All right, so knight H2. All right, so, so what's, a, what's a move that a black could play to maybe just scare white? It might not be good, <laughs> but, but it's scary. What's a scary move for black here? Yeah, queen h3. <laughs> I don't know. Would, would you really play the, the, that in the game, Yasser? Yes. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's scary, right? <laughs> right here? <laughs> yeah, excellent. Good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, if you would be, you know, scared by a move, then just play it, right? If that, if, you know, so, so good. So, all right. But instead, he plays uh, everybody's favorite, uh, f6. <laughs> All right, so not good. F4, so he keeps moving, marching up his, uh, his protectors. So, so the knight basically has to, has to do the job of three pawns here. So takes, try to break it open, but he doesn't let it get broken open. He, he advances his pawn F5 at the expense of a pawn here. Now he attacks the queen. So now the queen, instead of being down here menacing, just psh, doing nothing. All right. 
So takes, bishop takes, queen e2. So bishop attacks the knight, knight f3, g6. So queen, all right, is on the same line as the king now, so it could get, could get scary if he's not careful. But black is going to do him a favor and say, get off that g line, OK? <laughs> um, you should have kept this. Because now, you know, you have dreams of maybe getting your rook down there and, uh, you know, doing a, a super pin here. But all right, so he's on the H file here, if we can bring it back up. All right, so takes, takes. So now he's got the G file open, but he puts his rook on the uh, F file here. C3, bishop attacks the bishop, queen up. So bishop takes, he's only got one way to take it back with the pawn. And now he's going for this pawn. So captures, captures, of course he'll, he'll take here, give him double pawns. But now his king can get checked on the diagonal. So he might want to watch out for that. All right, so he plays rook to e4. So he does get checked on the diagonal here. King to g1. So unfortunately, because of this uh, awkward placement of the king from the beginning, his rooks can never connect, and he can never really uh, put the herd on uh, white here. All right, so he takes the pawn. But so he just took a pawn. However, the king in the center doesn't look so uh, so hot right now. So what does white play to try to finish up the game here? Just take it. The only thing we can take, right? Queen takes d6 check. He's got one move, and it's not good. And uh, check, king on the line, and rook to b1. Queen king on the same line. The same thing that he wanted to do to, uh, to white but could never accomplish because his rooks were never connected. White can because he got castled and was safe until he rushed up all his pawns. And uh, that's game. Boom. Game over. OK? So that's. That's what a real game should look like instead of an eight-move catastrophe, okay?